Pharmaceutical Sales Representative, Wikipedia Article Audio Pharmaceutical sales representatives are salespeople employed by pharmaceutical companies to persuade doctors to prescribe their drugs to patients. Drug companies in the United States spend $5 billion annually sending representatives to doctors, to provide product information, answer questions on product use, and deliver product samples. Methods Companies maintain this provides an educational service by keeping doctors updated on the latest changes in medical science. Critics point to a systematic use of gifts and personal information to befriend doctors to influence their drug prescriptions. In the United Kingdom representatives are governed by a strict code of conduct from the Association of British Pharmaceutical Industries. No gifts are allowed. Companies are fined and held in breach if they use the tactics described in this description. Doctors can receive small gifts, such as free dinners, event or travel tickets, clocks, free drug samples and swag. Controversial inducements include jobs offers for the drug company, consulting-slash-speaking fees, and all expense paid travel to resorts and exotic locations where attendance is limited or not mandatory. Me Too Drugs Pharmaceutical Representative is a trade journal featuring common sales tactics such as how to close a tough sale by flattering a stubborn doctor. Along with flattery, the attractiveness of sales reps has been noted, with a trend of former cheerleaders entering the field. Researchers note, seduction appeared to be a deliberate industry strategy, and an informal survey by a doctor found that 12 out of 13 women sales reps said they had been sexually harassed by doctors. Laws Sales reps push new Me Too drugs with free samples that are more expensive than existing generic drugs such as Nexium which costs three times as much as its predecessor Prilosec with no evidence of improved efficacy. With beta blockers and statins, Me Too drugs have improved results, and increased competition while lowering prices. As Me Too drugs are similar but new, their side effects can be unknown and not well understood. Pharmaceutical marketing slash reps assert a Me Too drug may work better than another but they don't test their Me Too drugs in people who have not done well with an earlier drug of the same class. Alternatives In 1990, the Food and Drug Administration passed laws banning gifts of substantial value of drug companies to doctors, however this has changed the gifts from objects to meals and travel. Culture in 2006, New Hampshire forbid the sale of prescription data to commercial entities. Encountering ill-informed reps at his practice Dr. Dan Foster, a West Virginia surgeon and lawmaker, introduced a bill to require reps to have science degrees. While it did not pass, it led to a disclosure of minimum hiring requirements. In Australia the government funds academic detailers that are impartial medical students who provide drug information to medical professionals. Cheerleading athletes have been noted as a recruitment target by companies to hire as pharmaceutical sales representatives.